Hello, this is David at AppWorks, and today I'm going to be going over for our basics, FileMaker Basics series, uh, the filter function and the filter values function. These two functions are pretty useful. They may not be immediately apparent why they're so useful, but I'm going to show you how they work, and you can do with them as you see fit. So what they basically do is they take a piece of text, a string of some sort, like a phone number, for example, or um, a list of values, or any, any text string at all, really, um, and they strip out whatever it is you don't want in there. So at its most basic, I'll show you how it works. We start with our data viewer. If you're not familiar with the data viewer, you really should be. So um, we just start with typing in the word filter and it brings up the function that we're looking for. If we hit enter, then it gives us two arguments, the text to filter and the filter text. Now those don't sound that actually different, but the text to filter is the actual string that we want to filter out something from. Um, the filter text, uh, this argument is what we want to retain after we've filtered out everything. So for example, uh, the most common usage of something like this is to strip out characters from like a phone number or something like that. So you'll notice here that we have uh, a global variable called dollar dollar phone and if I put dollar dollar phone here as the first argument um, and the second argument, say we want to just take out all of the parentheses and uh, the spaces and the dashes. So what we do is we just put in this inside of quotes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0 because all we want is numbers. We don't want any of the extraneous text. So say somebody wrote into a field, for example, mobile and then put in 213-465-8813 then you'd have all this stuff and it's not actually a useful value for you to have in your data. Uh, so you want to clean that data, and that's basically what these filter functions are for, for cleaning data. Um, at least the basic filter function, which is this one. Uh, if you wanted to find out, say, which letters uh, were in a given piece of text, you could do something like choose, say, list, and if you do uh, the letter A, it shows you all of the A's that are in this list. So if we hit monitor and we look at what this list has, this list actually has all these um, different uh, rows. It's a it's a basic you know carriage separated list, and it's it's uh, not all that useful to do something like filter out a letter from this list. But we could say, hmm, let's see how many times API shows up. So we might go. Um, Let's see, API. Well, that doesn't actually work because that's a value. We're, it's just telling us that we want to filter the letters A, P, and I out of that entire block of text, that entire string. So this is not really that useful to us. But that's basically how filter works. So if you want to strip things out and just have text or just have um, numbers or just have punctuation or something like that, this is a really useful uh, function. Filt uh, filter values works similarly except that instead of using letters or um, characters to filter out, it filters out values from a list. So in this case, we're going to look at filter values and we're going to look at this first list. And if we set the argument, it's basically got the same setup. So if we go uh, filter values, text to filter and filter values. So Filter values are the values in the list that we want to retain or um, filter everything out from. So um, in this case, we're going to look at filter values. We're going to look at list and we want to filter the value A. Well, if we look at list one, there are lots of A's in here, but there's no value in this value list that's just the, the character A. And so that's not going to work. If we were to say look at a filter of a list and we're gonna we're gonna filter list one and we're gonna look for any A B C, well now we see that we've found a value in the list that's A B C. So now we can see that there is that value in this list of 
uh, of values. And so we can m m take some action on that basically in like a script or something like that. It's usually for checking to see if say a value has been entered um, on a checkbox or something like that. Uh, there's another really useful way to use filter values and that's to compare two lists. And uh, in this case, we're gonna look at say list one and we've got ABC, BCD, CDE, and DEF. And we've got this other list. It's got CDE, DEF, EFG, FGH. And we wanna, for whatever reason, we may want to compare two lists and see what's common from both lists. What's the intersection of these two lists? So in this case, we can do filter values and we're gonna filter list one by list two. And now we'll see what the intersection of these two is. And we see that CDE and DEF is what's returned. What that shows us is that these two lists have e each have those values. We're basically saying, show me all of the values in this list that match any values in these list, uh, in this list too. Um, that's actually really handy. It's a sort of obscure usage, but there are times where you're gonna wanna know. You have two fields or two lists that have been set up, two value lists, and you wanna see what is the intersection between those. Um, and those are the two most sort of common usages of these functions. Filtering is really useful, really important in certain applications. You may not have a use for it, but when you do have a use for it, this is how you're gonna use it, and this is the solution. Uh, when you wanna strip out things, um, find what's existing in a block of uh, text or in a list. And uh, that's the basics of the filter function and the filter values function. Hope it was useful, and uh, maybe you can find a good use for it. Uh, maybe you can actually list some of the uses you found for this in the comments below. Thanks a lot.